Hey what is up guys, it is Brickmoto. Today we are reviewing set number 75320 Snow Trooper Battle Pack. This came out in January 2023. I know I'm reviewing it a bit late, but yeah, so let's have a look at the box art. So as we can see on the front in the background, they're all in action right there. You see the stud shooter. We've got Darth Vader on the left-hand side. We've got the blue uh, border just to show that it's the, um, was it, original trilogy kind of uh, set. And we got three snow troopers and a scout trooper. So if you guys want to build a snow trooper army, this is a set for you. Uh, as we look on the back of the box, we see... Uh, we see the stud shooter in action, how to do it. We see the uh, speeder bike, and we see the scout trooper. And um, we see him filling up the stud shooter right there. And we see a little bank of snow where the um, one of the snow troopers is currently... I don't know if he's like waving to the other guy, I, I don't really know. And then here on the border we have a snow trooper just to show what uh, type of minifigure it comes with. And uh, let's get into the box. So with a typical Lego set you get pretty much the standard bags and the uh, instruction manual with a barcode right there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to build it and we'll get into the review. So yeah guys, the full build is complete. That only took no more than 10 minutes to build. And uh, let's get right into the minifigures. So I really need to only show you one of these because obviously you get three of these in the pack. So on the back, obviously, you got the print. Um, there's no print on the back legs. Obviously, it's a Lego figure. And then you got printed um, bottoms. you got the printed top. Uh, he comes with a rifle. Um, and if you take the helmet off, uh, it shows a guy smoking. Um, but yeah, so that's that's that, you know, uh, snow trooper. Then pretty much it's the same snow trooper, just a different gun. And then obviously underneath the helmet, it's a different face. This one's a woman. And then pretty much the same gun, but just a different head underneath. And then the last figure that you get is a scout trooper, which one I really like, by the way. I love the um, helmet and everything, the whole mold of it. Obviously, it's printed on the back, uh, printed on the front on the pants. And then you take the helmet off, and it shows a, uh, a woman's face. But yeah, and it comes with a really small gun. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the scout trooper. This set also comes with a really nice speeder bike, and obviously, you know, there's a piece underneath there, which you could hold like a... looks like an old blaster they used to have in the old Star Wars sets. Um, but I really love the way that they did this. Obviously, this is the uh, same speeder bike that they used in the uh, UCS ATAT, which is really cool because um, obviously it was released around the same time to kind of build that kind of like uh, that war at Hoth. And it's also perfect as well to hold a scout trooper, and it just looks really nice the way he just holds onto the grips. And uh, well, you know, she holds onto the grips, but yeah. Looks really good, and I really, really like this mold of the uh, snow bike. Then the next build we have is this turret that is also a stud shooter. Uh, everybody knows how a stud shooter works, so I'll show you now. So yeah, if I was to just shoot at the box. There we go. Oh, can I lose that? Then the uh, last bit that you get is a snow bank, um, which, you know, it, was it if you get like a minifigure and put him, let's say, here. Then obviously he has a, a little place to shoot and to defend himself. It's a little like barrier. Um, but yeah, it works really well, it looks really cool. Obviously I didn't press down the pieces there hard enough. But yeah, this is the back of the build. You got some binoculars there, which they could use to obviously look out, see if there's any enemies. Um, but yeah, it looks really well. I like the way that this just looks so like, I don't know, realistic, if that makes sense. Like, I, I just like the way that it's all sloped and just kind of angled, but yeah. But yeah, guys, that was my review of the Snow Trooper Battle Pack. I really like this set. Like I said, it only took no more than 10 minutes to build. You get really good minifigures. You get really good nice builds as well. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely say if you can find this set somewhere in stores, definitely pick it up. Um, I got it for £18, but it was like £15.30 because obviously I had the discount card. But yeah, guys, if you want to pick up this set, please do. It's really good. Let me know if you have this set already and tell me if you're going to get it in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.